Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. Um, in this episode, I will be doing something special. I will be giving a demo of this app for iPhone 10 called the Face Cap. So remember my experiment with Blender and uh, facial capture of iPhone 10, and then uh, you, uh, in the past I, I have to use like Xcode, and then need to compile an app that kind of doing the recording for the face. Um, this app actually um, doing everything um, and with this app you you can record your facial expressions in real time um, it, I think it's recording it at 24 frames per second and it also records the audio your voice and by default um, if you just uh, download it for free you can record up to five seconds but if you purchase the app um, that's cost like around thirty dollars Australian dollars but I'm not sure uh, in other currency but uh, the app allows you to take up to 10 minutes of recording and it's it's done in real time basically you you do a quick recording and you export it um, it's gonna give you FBX with the the wave files and you can easily email it or just save it into Dropbox so the whole process is really really fast and I'll, I'm gonna show you the whole process and then how you can export it um, and import it into Blender and maybe use it uh, like real-time EV rendering. So the whole process is really, really smooth and very easy. So yeah, I, I'm gonna give it a try. So see, by default, uh, the free version will give you, allow you to um, record up to five seconds. I will record up to 30 seconds for this demo. So let's make a quick recording. Oh, by the way, this is uh, the one on the right is the finished um, example. I'm gonna start from scratch. So let's make some recording. Okay, this is a quick recording, 30 seconds of me just making some weird face. Okay, I have 10 more seconds. Um, yeah, just gonna wait until it finishes. Okay, it's finished, right? And I just gonna share the recording. And I'm gonna probably save it to notes. Yeah. So recording. Save. I'm gonna try actually or oh, I can airdrop I can airdrop it I just realized cool so it's transferred into my MacBook Pro so you can still see my face I think on the left um, let's take a look really quickly should be under downloads recording cool yep this is the one that I just made. So there is one thing with the recording. Um, it is actually saved as ASCII FBX and Blender does not import ASCII FBX. So you need to kind of uh, convert it uh, really quickly. So I have already uh, this Autodesk FBX converter 2013 and yeah, you need to download this. Uh, luckily, this is actually a free app from Autodesk. So all you need to do is just drag and drop the file and see it's gonna export it. It's gonna convert it into as binary. So I will just quickly rename this as recording X. Okay, and then convert. Wait a few seconds and once it's converted, Blender can open it. Uh, Blender can just import it. So Blender, where is my Blender? Oops, let's show my email. Yep, the Blender. So delete everything. I think this app is really cool. Um, maybe in the future, I think the whole face capturing thing is gonna be more real time. So you can really broadcast yourself um, much much easily. But if you can, if you are like Blender, if you are three D artist and you use Blender, 
or other 3D programs. You can you can easily do this um, to capture the blend shapes and then you can export it into a different character. Oops, actually, I almost dropped my iPhone. Um, so yeah, import FBX. So this is the whole process. So once you capture uh, the face animations, you just get the recording, this guy right here. The setting, normally I turn off import normals. Um, this offset should be zero and then the scale should be 100. So, and import FBX, wait a few seconds. I think my recording was around 30 seconds and let's wait. Okay, cool. It's completed. So this character, so this is my recording. It should be, yeah, I think exactly 30 seconds. So let me save this real quick. Save as face cap demo 001. Totally love this app. This app is uh, made, created by Alexi. It's, it's has only been around for a while, I think. Um, this character is actually quite high res, and if you can see here, there is a. It comes with UV map, so you can you can draw, you can paint on this uh, head, and there's all this all these blend shapes that's actually uh, kind of uh, matching um, Apple iPhone 10 blend shapes. There are around 50 of them. You can transfer this. Maybe in the in the future video, I will try to transfer this uh, using animation nodes or spread chalk add-on. You can really or just like connect it into a different character. So this guy is good. Is see all these my animations. Oh, it actually has a. If I get my face closer to the iPhone, it's it seems to get closer. Just now so the, it records the position what I found also uh, if it's lost the tracking uh, you need to be careful if you look like move look really far back it's gonna lose the tracking and it's gonna stop recording keep that in mind for this I will show you if, if we use video sequence editor in blender and you go shift a sound you can just get the recording sound where is it? Ah, it's under downloads. Recording. Recording wave. So this is the recording. And it's a good idea to normally to turn on the draw waveform and maybe caching. So and playback we want audio scrubbing and A V sync, maybe. Yeah. So now let's see our recording. Quick recording. Okay, this is a quick recording. Thirty seconds of me just making some weird face. Yeah. So yeah, it seems to work. Everything works, and this character comes with a basic um, texture. And I'll switch to material and give it lighting. Some lighting. So. I'm using Blender 2.79. This is like the stable uh, Blender. 2.8 is being developed, and soon we're gonna have 2.8 with uh, EP real-time rendering and all the good stuff. So it's gonna be a really, really exciting time uh, for Blender artists. You got all these really cool tools that you can use on any computer. You know, it's open source and stuff. Ah, okay, let's give it this basic light. So the character has, you, you can see there's a like really gray kind of makeup on the character. But yeah, there you go. This is like, you may think about it. This is like 30 seconds recording and I can do it um, on the app up to 10 minutes. 10 minutes of recording is like, you, you can make uh, a show using this character you can record it if you're if you're like kind of shy to show your face this is like gonna be like the futuristic way to for you to record your face without showing your face you know and you can use a different kind of head avatar just like in the movie uh, 
Ready, player one? Let go. Uh. Okay, this is a quick recording. 30 seconds of me just making some weird face. Yeah, so that's the recording. And here, the iPhone 10 is still doing its uh, real-time kind of... Yeah, this is all real-time. It's pretty cool. If I save this, yeah, I'll do a quick one. I'm going to switch to Blender EV uh, Renderer 2.8. Um, I think I got it somewhere. There you go. EV Renderer. Going to open it. So I, I saved the blend. Now I'm going to open it using, and I'm going to use, and I'm going to be using this Blender file open. Face cap demo. File, save as, save as new file. Normally, if I work with EV, I'm gonna tag it like that. So we have this character now. We probably need to give it a material. And environment light. So I have a, I have a 360 environment here, and this character should have some kind of. Okay, the point light is too strong. I'm gonna just delete it. Delete, delete. All right, we got the character. We can't see the texture. Maybe I need to fix it. It's a uh, it's EV, but. You can see the animation works and this character now with uh, the lighting from the environment and I can change this character to metallic maybe roughness look at this this is like amazing this is real time yeah how cool is this you have this on any computer like I'm using MacBook Pro right if you're if you have like better computer with the GPU my Mac the GPU is kind of slow but really if you you can do this very very easily of course the requirement here that is that you have iPhone 10 to do the face capture but you you can borrow it maybe from your friend install the app uh, face cap app and then just export it you know just export it email it to you and then make this and then you 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 make your own like a 3d head character you know like the animoji characters and then you can really um, do a lot of things with it face capture become really easy so yeah uh, it's really exciting time um, let's see what else we can do with this uh, process so in the future I will try to to do the same thing with a with a different character and I will connect all the blend shapes into the, the, the other character so the blend shape is still there this is Blender EV and then yeah I think animation is still working um, I really really like this transmission glass shader it's, uh, it's pretty cool so the latest Blender 2.8, this is still under development and it is already quite stable. I'm pretty happy with it. If I get rid of the metallic roughness, give a little bit, use the subsur subsurface scattering, it looks really, really good. And especially this guy works with bloom and also ambient occlusion. Look at that. Look at that, you get ambient occlusions inside the teeth and this character is real time. Okay, this is a quick control up. 30 seconds oh. of me just making you can render this out. This is actually real time, right? Yeah. 24 frame per second. Okay, there we go. That's a quick demo of this face cap app um, and iPhone 10 face capture once again um, hopefully you enjoy this if you have any question just let me know in the comment section below 
and I'll try to answer it. Uh, thanks again um, uh, for Alex uh, to give me this app to try and I really love the app and this is really really powerful and it makes this face capture like much much easier and you know with Blender 2.8 you can do this realistic render and yeah this is unbelievable right yeah really let me try change the environment while still running I have HDR library I always use this yeah this is a cool one see look at that it's real time all right um, yeah if you have iPhone 10 give this a try let me know uh, what you create with it um, yeah that's it I guess I'll see you next time thank you bye